Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thank you for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, we have some of the greatest cars on the planet that have come here, that are here right now, whatever. But in the world of great cars, this is definitely at the very top of it. I don't know how to explain it to you, but this car is so well-preserved. So, you know, you know that somebody who owned this car grew up in a different time where, where dollars mattered so much to them. It's so well taken care of, garaged all its life, driven around 2,000 miles a year, and it is unrestored, original, and I consider it a show car. It's an unrestored survivor that is, could be easily be shown. This is the last run of these cars as they, as they faded out and went to a much smaller car. This is the front wheel drive version as well. So when we get inside, you'll see the interior is really big and it's really nice and flat inside there. And it's super, super comfortable. We're gonna meter the paint for a second to show you how uh, real that is. And this original GM paint still has some great shine to it and looks really good. You take this to a car show under the lights, it really, really looks nice, all right? The, all the chrome and stainless is really great. This right here, it's a little tiny leaf, sorry about that, has an upgraded grill. This is called the Roadster Package, so it would have been an upgrade that the dealer would have put on. You would have got this SimCon top, simulated convertible top, which looks really nice on there. This is also, they bought the Auto Armor. Auto Armor was a big deal. It had paint protection, hence why the paint is so good, all right? And it also had undercoating and rust proofing done to it as well. So if you want to know why a car is preserved, this is an exact reason why that is. This is the original wire wheels on the car, new white wall tires on there. And when we get inside and we start it up, it is silent and as, as can be. Um, come back here for a second if you don't mind. These are the kinds of things that happen to the GM cars over time. These filler panels here crumble, right? These are all original back here. You can tell uh, that somebody took care of it because it hasn't been out in the sun, it hasn't been tired, it hasn't been worn out. And so as I open this little piece up here, look at this man. These are the original stickers in here. This is the original felt trunk mat. The original spare tire is still here, okay? The original spare tire is still here. It's still got the titties on it. It's never been used. It's never been on the ground. This is, a, this is a future collectible car. That's why I say that because you won't see another one like it. These cars are, are few and far between, especially low mileage cars like this with original paint, original interior, original, 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 because they're only original ones. Let's see the way the trunk closes, wow. All right, we'll take a peek under the hood. All right, check this out. This is kind of cool. So these are original decals here. Even the under hood light works, right? The original decal there from when the car was being serviced. And all of this, even the stamps from the factory are still on the engine. Even the stickers, the decals on the wiring are still there in red. Look at on the brake on the master cylinder. All that stuff is still in place, still intact. It's not rusty, it's not crusty, it's not dirty, it's not greasy. Somebody loved this car. Okay? And that's why it's in the condition that it is. All right, so come on in here because here it is beautifully preserved. This right here is the original floor mat to the car. The original floor mat. All the dash is great. There's no cracks, it's not dry, the mirror's good. Uh, the fabric is spectacular condition and so soft and very nice. All the gauges are crystal clear. And this. starts right up every time. Look how much room is here, too. One of the things that people talk about is, is do these cars have enough power? You know, some of you could get sixes in. This has a V8 in it, right? And when you start it and you hit the gas, it rocks the car, man. It has a lot of torque.
talk about uh, original paint and originality. When they're original is when cars become worth the most money. Most cars with original paint are worth twice as much as cars that are restored, especially if it's an original, well taken care of car, twice as much. How do you know that for sure? Well, you know, uh, you could have an expert look at it who could pretend, maybe guess, or you could measure the thickness of the paint. So if you have an electronic paint meter like this, you measure the paint in mils. And so uh, as we walk around, as long as this is within two mils of every panel that we walk around here, we know it's original paint. Even if it's 2.5, that's fine. But when it jumps up to be four and five and nine uh, mils over or above every other panel, then you know it's had been painted before. When a body shop paints the fender, right, they don't really care how thick the paint is because they're painting it to just do the work on the car. When you own a collector car and you want to be able to say that you have original paint all around the car, that's important to you and that's what we're going to measure right now. So as we come around here, Okay, 5-0 right there, 4-0, 4-0, okay, 6-0, so we're still good, we're still good. The top of the car is usually going to have a little more paint than the sides, 3.5, we're good, 4.5, Four. So in my opinion, uh, we didn't do the hood, let's do that real quick. Okay, 3.5. In my opinion, this right here says it all, that this is an original car. And the condition of the paint is spectacular. It must have had a bra or a clear bar or something like that on it. Clearly, this person wanted to make sure that the car was protected. All right, so we'll close up this collector car. You say, well, Tony, it's an old Tornado. How can it be a collector car? It's absolutely a collector car. It's the last run of its type, okay? Uh, the, the cars that came out after these ones here were very small, very different cars, nothing like these at all, and these are really starting to go up in value. You can check the, the values online. But you can't check the value on originality, and you can't check the value on one that's preserved in this kind of condition. The, the frost beige uh, paint looks great. The interior is spectacular inside, and it drives as nice, if not nicer, than it looks like outside. You will love this car. And it's loaded with power equipment, the air conditioning, power this and power that. It is really a great car and a lot of fun for not a lot of money. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about this old Tornado.